Hey guys, how's it going? Otaku Mike here, back again with another video for you guys today. If you're new to the channel and you like the content that I create, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting on the video. And don't forget to share it with your friends. Without further ado, let's get into our manga. First impressions today, and we're looking at Super Women in Love, Honey Trap, and Rapid Rabbit. Let's get into this. Right, so like I said before, we're looking at Super Women in Love, Volume 1. Written in art by sometimes, or sometime, uh, I guess sometime, they like to uh, write some manga, I guess. I don't know. But this is a new Super Sentai superhero manga about two women. One's a villain, one's a hero, and they're in love. Anyways, let's get into this story. So, the synopsis for this story is um, a young uh, superhero named Rabbit Rabbit, who I'm just going to call Rabbit, is been doing superhero stuff for about half a year or so, and she is in um, a battle with her, I guess, arch nemesis, Honey Trap. And Honey Trap just so happens to defeat Rapid Rabbit in a battle, and she goes to unmask her said opponent, and she... Unmask and she's like, oh my god, this girl is my top and she kind of gets flustered and runs off and um, You know, I guess sort of wins. I really don't know. I guess she wins um, But she goes back to the evil layer evil organization that she works for and the powers that be the leader of the said group which is they're the um, Anti-noids I believe they're called I think uh, they're this like special monster breed or whatever. Um, she goes back there she, and the, the guy's like, you have failed me. Uh, you're fired. And she's like, what? I'm fired. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? And he's like, I really don't care. Um, I'm going to send assassins after you to kill you. And while she's trying to find out what she's going to do, she gets attacked by assassins. And she basically... Um, she falls unconscious, wakes up in a, the apartment of Rapid Rabbit, and Rapid Rabbit saves her life. And she's like, oh my god, this is so great. Um, do, do, you have, do you know who I am? And Rapid Rabbit's like, uh, you're a person who needed help? And she's like, but why would you help me? Why would you help me? I'm a bad guy. And she, Rapid Rabbit's like, everybody needs help. I'm a superhero. I'm supposed to save everybody, you know? And... Uh, this is where uh, Honey Trap, our villain right here, she decides to turn over a new leaf and become a hero and work with Rapid Rabbit to uh, take down the evil, evil organization that she once worked for, as well as potentially hide her feelings for her new boo thing, just saying. In a nutshell, that's kind of what this manga is about. Um... So yeah, this manga was actually a lot of fun. I really actually did enjoy this manga. I was very surprised that it took... Um, the point of view was from actually the supervillain instead of the superhero. I thought it was going to be from more of the superhero aspect. But it caught me off guard and I was really surprised. The artwork is actually fairly, like, really well drawn. Like, all the action scenes are really cool and stuff. Um, I really like... All the artwork for that. Um, I really enjoyed how it wasn't necessarily a, a, a bombastic slash straight man, funny man uh, uh, stick uh, when it comes to our two main characters. Um, but we do get a lot of uh, really funny uh, jokes and um, really a lot of meta humor from the aspects of our two main characters like at the beginning um honey trap is like why are you continuously posing and talking and not fighting me you know when she was a bad guy and even the little meta they were called like meta warriors or something little little henchmen uh were like yeah why is she just posing and you know doing all this you know stuff and like not fighting and you are like going like you know, uh, but yeah, this 
uh, really, uh, really subverts the tropes of, I guess, Super Sentai. I mean, Super Sentai, Super Sentai is usually goofy and stuff like that occasionally. You know, like sometimes, like half the time, it's really goofy. So, but this was a lot of fun. Uh, there was a really funny aspect where you get to see the bad guy's point of view later on, or in the middle, where he, or actually she, because all the women are actually evil. There's no like bad guys in this. There's all just bad women. Um, the evil leader is like, man, I really wish Honey, Honey Trap didn't leave. And well, the you fired her, you know. And well, I I thought I would call her bluff type of thing, you know. And it was really funny to see that the evil leader was kind of incompetent and stuff like that. But I liked the point of view uh, aspects from this this um, this manga it was really fun to see how Honey Trap was trying to reform and how. They're both trying to work out their differences because obviously they're on different sides of the, uh, the the playing field, I guess you could say. One was evil, one was good, type of thing. Uh, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, the jokes are really funny, and there were some really cute moments, like uh, when they were went out to go get ice cream and stuff like that, and you know, um, uh, all really cool, these really cool fight scenes that actually happened with. Like we get a lot of really cool fight scenes as well. It's not just like the romantic comedy aspect. I like it that there is a uh, we get action built into it as well. It's not just mushy, um, you know, mushy romance stuff. You know, we get some really cool action sequences as well. But yeah, I was really surprised that I ended up liking this. I mean, I usually end up liking a lot of volume ones. Uh, the real test will be. Well, I continue to like the story as the story goes on. Um, we'll see. I don't know. That's a big if. But right now, this gets like a 5 out of 5 for me because I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really hot on it right now. But, you know, who knows? Time, You know, things might change. But, yeah, it was a lot of fun. If you enjoy superhero stuff, if you're really big into Super Sentai, you'll probably get a kick out of this. If you're new to Super Sentai stuff, you'll probably actually like this as well, because um, it was it was a really fun take on the whole Super Sentai thing. You know, I liked uh, that Rapid Rabbit was very new to the whole Super Sentai thing, and she wasn't really a, a team player for some of it, and she would just go run off and um, fight bad guys without uh, Honey Trap, and Honey Trap would kind of get kind of mad and upset that she wasn't included and said things, so they have to learn how to work together as a team and whatnot. Um, uh, I won't spoil it, but Rapid Rabbit's uh, superhero origin is in this first volume, and when I got to the superhero origin, I laughed my ass off. I thought it was hysterical. I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, if you like action, comedy, romance... This is a nice blend of both, and um, it was really good. And if you want to get into some like girl love stuff or Yuri stuff, this is not a bad place to start. Cause it's not like etchy; it's just like in full of like fan service or whatever. Um, it's just a nice, nice fun read that you can enjoy and uh, see these two ladies uh, have fun and. Uh, kill some monster people and, uh, you know, um, work out their differences and, um, possibly find love? Who knows? We'll have to read volume two to find out, right? Anyways, yeah. This was actually a really fun read. Go check it out. If you're interested, you can buy it. We're all manga is available to buy. Or, you can do the other thing, but I don't promote the other thing. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Otaku Mike. Like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to share the video. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment. Let me know if you're going to check this uh, manga out. Uh, I know there are some people actually who read this and actually really liked it as well. So that's cool that other people are checking it out and giving old Seven Seas some money. Because Seven Seas puts out some really good things sometimes. Just saying. Don't sleep on the Seven Seas. Because the pirates might attack you. I don't know if there's pirates on the Seven Seas. Maybe they're anime pirates. I don't know. But yeah, it was really good. A lot of fun.
catch you guys in the next video.